since uh, the decision of allowing some members of Orange Democratic Party to join the government, Raila Amolo Odinga has been receiving backlash uh, from each side of the political divide. Uh, that is including even people who did not vote for him, who are now calling him a betrayer. And my interest in this video is to assess the core diehards of Raila Amolo Odinga, who now uh, are indirectly rebelling against him. And uh, even before we go further, let us listen to this one. Wewe kama kijana uko na degree na uko na miaka 30 yeah. na uko hapa jakaranda unapiga makofi atopara na amepewa CS yes. yeah. you are stupid stupid kuna vijana kuna vijana mza speaker wamesoma na wanataka hizo nafasi hawa wazao wametengeneza pesa opara na ndugu yangu amekuwa governor for 10 years amekuwa MP 15 years Ni nini amekosa kwa nyumba yake? Na amekuwa minister. Kama ni pesa ako nayo. Awachie wale watu wazazi walilipia watoto wao school fees na wameipita wapewe hizo masies. Mimi sijapinga. But tunaangalia sisi kama vijana tutakuwa wapi na hii Kenya yetu? Kama kazi itakuwa inaenda kwa wazee na tunakuja hapa tunapiga makofi wa Serbia. Mr. Speaker, when I'm finished, you need to move to the When When you are finished, yes. Yes. Mr. Speaker, you are very wise. You mean attack and some maybe? Yes. So that is one of the diehard of Raila Molodinga, who at one moment even said that. If Raila Odinga tells him to take poison, he will take poison. And now you can see he is opposing the idea of Oparanya, uh, who, is, um, uh, who, is, who was a former governor of Kakamega, joining the cabinet. And uh, it is widely believed that although Raila Amolo Odinga has denied the fact that he sanctioned or he allowed these people to join government, but it it is common knowledge but that they wouldn't have joined without his approval considering that they are key allies to him now before we go further to this analysis we, i will also like us to listen to this stance from also one of the core diehards of raila molodinga who uh, said this but uh, sometimes back and i think uh, what we've heard from nuru uh, came later so it's likely uh, that uh, the stance or what you are going to hear uh, may have been changed or he may have changed uh, his stand as well almost like baba one hour from today no mandamano kitu kwanza hakuna mandamano hakuna hakuna mandamano kutoka leo Sisi kama atutaki atutaki. Ruto sasa ni mweupe kama pamba. Ukuni ni hiko. Bwana point ni yangu. Atukwa tunataka William Samoe Ruto. Lakini kwa sahi baba amependa. Baba kipenda tumependa. Tuweze kudanganya hapa. Atiraina kienda mandamano na hela ni mbaya. Raila kuko Raila kuko ya Raila kuwa anaenda madamano Raila ni mzuri. Akuwa kwa serikali Raila ni mbaya. Tuko ndani. Tuko ndani. So, mimi kama mosi wana wa kuna mali za fraia. Mambo ya sport imeniuma. Imekuaje? Kipchumba Murkomen anapewa sport. As clearly as you can see, uh, that is how uh, it will have been expected normally for Raila Amolo Dinga diehards to react or to uh, act after his uh, decision. And uh, as much as still we have people like uh, him who have that kind of reasoning, 
uh, they are slowly but sure being changed uh, to actually see that uh, this decision of taking this uh, old politician back to cabinet is counterproductive because first of all it doesn't help anyone apart from the political uh, reasons or po political expediency it bestows to Ruto and at the same time it only must take us uh, 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 backwards because in doing that it weakens the opposition now one will ask himself the question why are these people now turning against Raila Molodinga having been his diehards uh, and people who are ready to make any uh, decision or to go with any move he proposed and that will be the basis of this video so we will critically look into that to try to understand uh, why that is happening and also see its implication in our political landscape so if you are new to our channel take a moment hit the subscribe button so that we can continue having this kind of conversation remember at the socrado tv we explore discuss and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape now it should be understood that people especially those who are close or who have been very big supporters of Raila Mulodinga feel that they have been betrayed uh, uh, from the fact that now Raila Mulodinga has decided to work with William Samuel Ruto. Remember, majority of supporters of Raila Mulodinga believed in him and his agenda and his goal about the Republic of Kenya. They believe in his dream and the canon that he has been promising them for a very long time of uh, period of time and they did not believe anything to do with ruto in fact most of them believe that ruto is a very uh, a very dirty politician who has no interest of the people but only his political interest and only to grasp or get power therefore it became very difficult for them to accept the fact that now Raila Molodinga has allowed some of his key allies to join government. In fact, ranking members of Orange Democratic Alliance. And in that, they rebelled inside. Some of them may not have expressed it outwardly, neither will they say it directly, but you can see some kind of passive aggressiveness. Like now this uh, guy who, uh, was say, who was saying that... Uh, uh, these old people should not be given opportunity. It is a, a sign of showing discontent with the decision uh, that has been made. The other thing is that uh, the current economic situation in the country is that there is very, very high in, uh, uh, or intense inequality uh, between different uh, classes of people. And in fact, uh, uh, the more people uh, uh, feel or believe that there is inequality, the more likely they are uh, to get themselves or to involve themselves in a violent uh, revolution. And now people see that even the moves that have been made by ODM or the moves that have been made by the president in what he refers to as a broad-based uh, uh, government are only but to add more to the people who already have more so it is more of intensifying or making the inequality gap to be even wider and wider so that in itself is like uh, just uh, a start in the face of these people who have been fighting to liberate their country and make sure or to achieve uh, the idea of having an equal society where each and every individual has equal opportunity and uh, through getting equal opportunity uh, they can utilize the opportunity or make take advantage of them so as to achieve uh, some things in life and uh, still uh, that lies in the point of betrayal whereby now they feel that uh, the ideals of ODM which were change and reform that were part of uh, bringing in equality and ending inequality have 
not been achieved and Raila Amolo Dinga has diverted uh, from uh, the course. It should also be understood that consistency is very, very important in anything, politics or any, anywhere you do. Now, Raila Amolo Dinga for very long period of time has been a very, very consistent and vocal uh, politician. And his consistency has been shown or expressed while he was in the opposition side. Now, his consistency involved ad, uh, calling out government to address key concerns that were affecting people, including uh, things like uh, gender equality, uh, a minority in, in the society, among other issues, including inclusivity, including all people disabled, whichever. And now, uh, having uh, uh, seen him, now allowing some members uh, uh, of his party, that is ODM, joining uh, the cabinet, it means that to some degree, he will fail or he will not be able to be consistent to his ideal because he'll have, uh, this cabinet will have to sing or to follow the ideals of UDA, which are not necessarily the same as those of ODM. So this is not inconsistent or consistency directly to Raila Molodinga, but to his allies who have been allowed to join government, which uh, is really not interesting considering that a person that, that, that in checks and balances in any uh, government are very, very important. I see that this backlash against Saila Molodinga is likely to continue unless he makes a very, very uh, radical change or shift. And even as I'm releasing this video, I think he still has that opportunity to actually do away or tell these people who have been nominated by the president to be serious to drop their ambition and actually. Uh, Continue with what, what they are doing. I, most of these people are actually people who have been in, in politics for quite some time. And of, of course, they have some things that they have been doing. So to, uh, to actually return his reputation and to be seen in the way he was being seen before and avoid all the backlash, I think Raila Amolodinga should just call these individuals and let them know that the current political situation uh, is not tenable uh, for them going to work uh, in government. As I come to the end, I would also like to emphasize that uh, it should be really clearly understood that here, in this kind of arrangement, which they are being referred to as broad-based, whatever, I think uh, in itself that does not mean that Raila Molodinga is part of the government. Because had he been part of the government, then the manifesto of UDA and manifesto of Azimio will have put together and an agreement reached. Okay? This is just more of people who have been pressurizing Raila Molodinga to get such cabinet position, and now they have gotten it and they have put him in trouble. And that's why I find it uh, to some degree to agree that indeed Raila Molodinga, his argument could make sense, but from a political angle, perceptionally, it does not make any sense. It does not make any sense to allow your members to join the cabinet of, of, of Ruto, yet there are some who have remained in government and they are still claiming that they are uh, the real or uh, they are the opposition. So I don't know what to think about this. Uh, that is my view in regard to uh, the changing landscape and the changing narrative in regard to the decision of uh, Ruto to nominate members of ODM in his cabinet. Please feel free to share opinion at the comment box so that we can continue having this kind of conversation. Until we meet again, bye-bye.